Change the order, please. Uh, first item of business will be the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and in his law, for the liberty and justice for all. Of business is the consensus items that we received in our email package. I make a motion that we pass the consensus items that were emailed to us. Second. I have a motion by Tina and second by Matt to uh, pass the consensus items. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Now we'll move to audience participation. Anybody that's not on the agenda? No. You. Okay, that will move us to old business. First will be the water tower grant. I really well, don't know. We're keeping it on there until we get it. So. What to report? Yeah, we. We just got... signed the contract, sent it in, and now we just have to do a bunch of stuff. Sign the contract for the water tower. GMS yeah. to. Okay. This is gonna take the lead. It still has to go through SCED first for the. Uh, Energy Impact Grant, we've got a mountain of paperwork and 30 emails already this week, but we'll get there, I guess. That's about all. There's really not Yeah, much until that, I mean, they're just trying to fill out the application until December 1st, and then from that point, it'll go to that project needs assessment, and they'll do what they have to do, and it'll just kind of skip around until we get to find out whether we are lucky or unlucky, but holding pattern for now yeah we have a question about that all right uh, the next item would be job descriptions which i'm sure we will probably table table until mr maloff is here he has all that information okay. <laughs> and the same with the landlord utilities it's also we have nothing until he's here so so i motion that we table old business dnc job descriptions and landlord utilities until the presence of our attorney second uh, motion by robin and assistant by tina to table items b and c of old business all those in favor say aye, aye. Mm -hmm. those opposed thank you so let's move to rec committee board cml reports classes Rick is doing great. Volleyball came to the volleyball football came to an end. Um, up next is basketball for K through two. Got three teams. Um, I'll get coaches and all that together later. Um, registration for third and fourth grade started November first. Fourth deadline is December second, and both will start practice well. One will start practicing here at the end of this month and the other at the end of next month. But nothing big. They still play K through two in Rocky Point? Mm -hmm. On Mondays. That's the one that we have three teams for. But I just don't have coaches yet. Well, I do, but I haven't assigned them yet. Good. Uh, we have Amanda and myself have a DOLA workshop on the 19th of November, next Tuesday. Supposed to be kind of a fun workshop to help us out with the grant stuff, which kind of actually is perfect because <laughs> we'll take whatever information we can get there. So hopefully, you learn something. <laughs> and any report on that classes? Okay. Where's your media? Lamar. Cal, Cal Palace, right? All right, let's move to new business and first one will be Arkansas Valley Hospice Proclamation. You guys have something you wish to say or are you just here to witness that? <laughs> well, we're here to witness um, 
We do appreciate everybody that supports Arkansas Valley Hospice. Uh, we are your only local hospice. Uh, we have been in the Valley since um, the 80s. Um, started in the hospital as a volunteer and then moved into an actual organization. And we have been around since that long. I can't calculate that fast, but almost 40 years. So um, I just want to say thank you for all those who support us and we appreciate your, your dedication to us and support. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Whereas it is the mission of Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated to provide quality mind, body, and spirit patient-centered care while supporting, serving, and educating our community about end-of-life tribulations. Whereas the provision of quality hospice and palliative care upholds the dignity of every individual, regardless of age, health, social status, citizenship, race, or religion, ensuring that all stages of life are treated with respect and care. Whereas Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated provides high quality hospice and palliative care services to patients with terminal and chronic illnesses. Their compassionate team, including physicians, nurses, social workers, health aides, and clergy focuses on the needs and wishes of patients and their families. Whereas Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated addresses emotional, spiritual, and family needs beyond physical treatment, offering services like respite care and bereavement counseling. Whereas Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated prioritizes patients in all programs, including hospice care, they ensure a coordinated patient-led approach that respects individual choices and needs, aiming to enhance the quality of life for both patients and family caregivers. Whereas each year individuals living with terminal and chronic illnesses receive compassionate care through the programs offered by Arkansas Valley Hospice, this support extends to the communities of Lahunta, Rocky Ford, Fowler, Manzanola, Swink, Ordway, Bowley Springs, Crowley, Sugar City, Los Animas, Arlington, Haswell, Shira, Hasty, Avondale, Boone, and Kim. Whereas Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated relies on community donations to support patient care, allowing services to be provided at no charge. It is the only local hospice where donations stay within the community. Whereas Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated volunteers assist with the needs of those living with terminal and chronic illnesses and that of their family and loved ones. Whereas hospice and palliative care providers at Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated encourage everyone to educate themselves about available care options and to communicate their preferences with family members, loved ones, and healthcare professionals. Before I read this last part, which says we're going to do this, uh, I guess I would need a motion for somebody to accept that, accept that, please. I have a motion we accept the Arkansas Valley Hospice Proclamation. A second. I have a motion by Robin and a second by Tina to accept the proclamation from <coughs> Arkansas Valley Hospice. All those in favor? Say aye, aye please. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. All right here, I, Chris Moreland, as Mayor of Swing, proclaim November 2024 as Hospice and Palliative Care Month. I call upon the citizens of Swing, Colorado to join Arkansas Valley Hospice Incorporated to increase their understanding and awareness of hospice and palliative care and to observe this month with appropriate activities and programs. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Do you guys this one? Or a copy, either one. But could we get a picture with that as well? Yes. I'll have Amber and Chris and I'll take a picture. Oh, no. Next item will be the Grand Theater membership donation insert for statements. And I will as soon as she comes back, we'll get that. I'll take her pile. Oh, here's a picture pile. I saw that, right? It was her. I saw that. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, 
What's that? So we had moved to the Grand Theater, and I don't know if you guys read that, they were asking for... They want me to just put it inside our statements so that everybody, every resident can get this copy. This? If they want to donate or not. So, that means I have to put this all in our um, statements. That's a small one of them, too. Yeah, yeah no, I'm going to have to use big ones. Yeah. Just the one month though, right? Yeah. What is it for? Donations for the Grand Theater. <clears throat> oh yeah, received by December 31st. So we would need it in the December statements is what would happen. Yeah, November's too late. <laughs> Come on, Amanda, you can work a miracle. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thanks. So, do you want a motion for that, or are we just going to yay and nay? So, what I is it? I need a motion. I mean, I, well, I don't know. Do is I there any for this? Probably just do you guys want me to put it in? Only if you choose to donate something to us. No, we're not donating. It's for. They're trying to reach out to all the local to all the local to people. get donations, more donations for the Grand Theater outside yeah. of Rocky Ford. Yeah. So is there any reason why, I know, I know it's going to be time consuming for the 200 bills. Whatever. Is it, it's okay for you though? I mean, get the envelopes? We're going to have to have them. I mean, yeah. you guys say there's no. It's just a great building and, we, and you know, yeah. I want the community to be able to support it. So I don't, I'll be glad to come in down and help them stuff if they want to do it. Okay. They're not going to make it here. <laughs> if somebody wants to say they want to help, but ain't nobody else. Yes, <laughs> I'm the first. No, you're the 10th, not the first. So we don't need a motion, we're just going to do it? No. Okay, next item will be a little discussion about whether we want to have a Christmas party. If we do, of what kind of Christmas do. party do we want? That kind of thing. So if we do potluck or we could meet at a restaurant now bear in mind the meeting as of now would be scheduled for seven o'clock so if we do it after there we, well we can make it six pretty, oh I, that's what i'm saying I'm, as of now it's so seven o'clock is late to be seven but if we're going to do that we probably should have the meeting you guys want to have it here again you want to have it over there again you want it somewhere i like it having somewhere Potluck like we've been doing. Yes. It's fun with me. It works. It's inexpensive. Everybody chips in. So we probably should have the meeting at six. Six o'clock. Just so that we're not so late. Nobody wants to eat at <coughs> nine o'clock. <laughs> we'll have the ordinances and stuff to go through again in December, so the meeting shouldn't be that long, but. You never know. We don't know what. The other thing, do you want the grant. meeting on a Friday or do you want the meeting still on a Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
All right, so <coughs> we do a meeting at six o'clock. <coughs> do the potluck afterwards over there. White elephant gift for the family members. Sound good? Yeah, and I mean, whoever wants to participate, bring one. So if <coughs> yeah, if you don't, you don't. You do. Right. I mean, if someone brings three people with them, you know, right there. Right. Anything for the cook? Any for the food? Yeah. What do we want? Whatever. We don't want like. Um, didn't we send out a sign-up sheet last year? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we well, last sheet. year you did the pulled pork, right? Or is that the year before? Last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Anybody feeling anything strong? Yep. I like food. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mexican food. I like food. You want everyone to bring Mexican or do it like a taco bar? <coughs> <coughs> they can do that too. Ground, ground. I mean, you can think about that as long as you know what's seen it, you can figure that part out. Yeah, so but we can talk about that in, in text or whatever. But. I just brown a bunch of hamburger, everybody bring, you know, sour cream, cheese, and build your own tacos. Yeah, that's that's all right. You can bring tortillas if you want to have a right. burrito. Or you can bring refried beans just to throw on yeah. You can have a double decker taco. <laughs> if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Do you that actually sounds yet? pretty good. Yeah. Taco bar and then. We can do some desserts. So when it gets closer, I'll just send out a... I'll bring the cheesecake. What are two servings? Uh, what I, are I, told you. I know. <coughs> there, it's always in the oven. But like, I know. Let me get it cooked. Warm that oven up, and then I'm on my way. Um, how much taco meat do you think we'd need for... How many were there? 30? Well, we won't have Cord and his wife. So there's two of us. We can get numbers. But I can cook all the well, tacos. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30 would be safe. Yeah. Eight times nine. I like eight times two. That's 18. Eight pounds. So what, 25, 30? Yeah. Because I'm going to want like three tacos. What's the, uh, <laughs> what's the price limit on that? Yeah. I think it was like 20 bucks. 20 bucks, I think. Mean, 20, 25 bucks. Yeah. I think most of them were twenty five. I got twenty five dollars in lottery tickets. Oh, that's so right. You're right. I yeah. think it was twenty five, but right. whatever. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought I got twenty five dollars. I think it was twenty five. Somewhere around there. Yeah, you say that. And we can change it. It's up to y'all. Or I didn't fix it. I just went back up. <laughs> Good. Good the budget public hearing. <laughs> Four dash one. This will be an ordinance summarizing expenditures and revenues for each fund and adopting the budget for the town of Sweet, Colorado, for the calendar year beginning on the first day of January two thousand twenty-five, ending the last day of December two thousand twenty-five. Um, as far as budget goes, from last time, I I think we changed the last meeting. We changed. We changed something in the general fund because we were up a little more there. We were up about ten thousand dollars in the general fund now. Uh, all of them look good except for the water, which we all know the water is the one where all the problems seem to be. And we were down, I believe, twenty six thousand and change on that one. Okay, yeah, even better. And so the general only- fund, we we're up ninety eight hundred dollars. Uh, water, we are down. We're in the negative twenty six thousand eight fifty. Trash, we're in the positive 35,000. Sewer, we're positive 60,000. And Conservation Trust, we're down a little bit, which we, we don't have any income there, so it's always going to be in the negative as far as Conservation Trust. So, But that's with depreciation, though, right? Yes. So it's, that all has depreciation. Yes, depreciation is a certain amount in each. And that's 50,000 for water right. for part of our we have 50, tower. Yeah, 50,000 for tower. That is also technically we are still as far as hard money we're still in the positive, but I mean it looks it looks bad now because we haven't taken that fifty thousand and put it where we need to yet, but we know we're going to have to put it somewhere 
along the line somewhere here. So yeah, I'm gonna go back. So the, and that's all about where county for the water tower is with the grant. Mm -hmm. That's sure. expected. Uh, and and once we find out whatever we we get there, then we'll have to go forward from well, there. It'll probably be a, either a specialized budget, or if we get the loan that we're after, then there'll be a certain amount every year for that loan fee or whatever. But yeah. it's hard to, to come yeah. up with a well, number so yet, so we don't know what that number is going to be. Next year, we have to have a supplemental budget. Or right. No idea. Right. Because we don't even know what we're getting at. We do not. I mean, we're, we're all sitting here like that because we've, we've got three funds. We're really trying to, or three grants and pools of money we're trying to get from. So. So just pray, all right, Cross guys? our fingers that we get a lot of it and then it'll, it'll help us out on the other end, but. So I will need somebody. So to... this one is, you gotta do them separate. So this, they need this. This is one, so we need them. So I didn't need oh, yeah. yeah, this one. No, I know, we gotta do one. <coughs> so somebody, we will entertain a motion to accept ordinance 2024-1. I make a motion to pass the ordinance 2024-1 adopt budget first reading second second you have a motion by tina and a second by matt to pass the first reading of ordinance 2024-1 all those in favor say aye. aye aye those opposed thank you that motion passes Okay, let's move to ordinance 2024-2, setting the mill levy. This is an ordinance levying in general property taxes for the year 2025 to help defray the costs of government for the town of Swink, Colorado for the 2025 budget year and for the mill levy on each dollar's worth of property as per the assessed value thereon as shown by the assessor of Otero County for the year 2025 as fixed by the Board of Equalization. I make a motion that we pass ordinance 2024-2, set mill levy, first reading. Second. I have a motion by Tina and second by Matt to pass ordinance 2024-2, setting the mill levy, first reading. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. We will move to Ordinance 2024-3, Appropriation of the Budget. This is an ordinance appropriating sums of money to the various funds in the amount and for the purpose as set forth below for the Town of Swank, Colorado for the year 2025 budget year. And those are the numbers that we just talked about, meaning up $9,800 in the general fund, down $26 in the water, up $35 in trash, up $60,000 in sewer, and down three in conservation trust. I make a motion that we pass ordinance 2024-3, appropriation of budget, first reading. Second. I have a motion by Tina and a second by Matt to pass ordinance 2024-3, the appropriation of the budget, first reading. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thank you. Passes. to information. Does anybody have any information they would like to share? Just a question if you found out anything from the shop? Uh, they had a structural engineer come in Monday and he's going to go with the insurance company now. I spoke with him on the phone Monday afternoon. Uh, he said, you know, based on his opinion, I mean, he's no engineer for it, it better than anybody here, but I can, you know, I can repair that building, you know, but it's all on cost, he said. But his opinion would be cheaper to take it down and just put a prefab steel building in if we're just using it for storage. But that's all on the insurance company, whatever they want to do. Or... Okay. In my opinion, it would be beneficial to just do it all over the new shop. Do so the, put something out on the north side it. next to Drops right there. Just do an E2 on the north side. All right on the north side of the building. Mm -hmm. Is there a door that opens back there? No. No, uh, I said no. Because you already have a wall there. But, it doesn't have to be enclosed. It could just be a, a gate across or something on the north side. 
just for the lawnmowers and everything? Yeah, yes, sir. just to secure it. It doesn't have to be airtight or anything like that. That's just my opinion. I could look at prices doing that yeah. instead of doing like the big building. Yeah. Where if you put it back where it's at, it's going to happen again. Yeah. Just a matter of time. Yeah. You know, I just think just eliminate it. That way they could, you could leave what's there there. Get that built and then move everything over and then tear it down without having to do stuff. But yeah, we're going to start moving everything over probably next week. Start driving because I got to make a pile out back with all the stuff that's short destroyed. They said we got to keep that until the claims, mm -hmm. whatever. Just, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we've already made room in the shop for the side trailer and okay. Christmas lights. And yeah, we've made room inside the shop. But I know there's a lot of we got tables and chairs, but we we're gonna put them back by the street sweeper. So we made room in the shop to kind of accommodate for right now. You don't need a metal building. Well, you need something for the lawnmower. Though. Yeah, lawnmowers, sign trailer. Well, not really. Well, sign trailer kind of cut heat. I mean, we can put it in the shop right now, but in the summertime it'll get in the way. You'll have to move it every time you need to get you know. So definitely need something that locks up. But I, I understand what you're saying. It's going to happen again. I mean, it's not if the anything first else, time. I mean, we probably need to store it. I don't know anybody that doesn't need more storage. Yeah. But we yes. just put a concrete something up so they have to see what tower. insurance says and what kind of money we're talking about. What we can mess with here, then we can. I mean, maybe even. I mean, I, like, I can get a 40, 40 yard storage container, like shipping container. I mean, there's ships full of those out there, man. I mean, you can yeah. get those pretty cheap. I mean, even a couple of those right behind the building. Even if they're two twenty yarders, even the smaller ones, the twenty cubic or twenty cube ones. But then those other two little ships you have there are going to have to be. They'll, they'll look funny sitting out there by themselves. Yeah, we got uh, whitewashing that little one in the back by the tower, and then the one up front is all the decks for the parking. We have to move stuff around to make room for all the. Parking. After so many past few years, they've yeah. got you can't open it, you can't close them. Yeah. But if so you, I don't know if that's really if a you open them, decision to go to, especially with the insurance. If you open them more often than not, they, they, they work better than if they sit. Because at the coffee True, plant, we used to open them once saying, a week, I mean, so we never had a problem with them. They sat outside the whole 12 years I was there. We used to walk in and stuff all the time on them. I, would, I opened and shut those every day. But, yeah. Plus they're clear approved. Yeah, plus they're clear approved, they're waterproof, they float. Can you put can you put the lawnmowers in there? You yeah. can't, right? Yeah. You can drive right into it. You can drive right yeah. into it. Put, try to put a ramp on the front, yeah, but yeah. yeah. I like that idea. Yep. Get some more. We'll know more after the adjuster. Just get some numbers on the paper so we know what we're looking at. Yep. Yeah. I'll call around. Start calling around. I'll call Jay's up there. Lyman. Yep. Yeah. And the sewer part of that is. Being built now? Uh, yeah, I already talked to Rory at WFI and he he said don't be surprised if you start seeing stuff showing up. So he's gonna, he wants to get on it and he's going to bring the truck down, he's going to clean everything out, do all that. So, yeah, but he said even if he contracts it out to somebody else, Rory said he'd be down here every day to make sure everything's done right. So. Yeah, I've had. Uh, some questions after this weekend snow about why the streets aren't the snow isn't removed and I my answer to that was I think we don't have the equipment to move that heavy snow but and I don't know if I'm right on that but I was wondering do we need to look at getting some I was I was asked by a few uh, people as well and I, I I think I know where we we have been on the deal but not that it's going to happen, but in case that we do have some monumental snowfalls here, would it be wise to have a contingency plan? I mean, even if it's hired out or something, I mean, is that something we should <coughs> maybe look into? I don't, have know, have, I don't know if don't have the manpower drove, here to... But have you drove around Mahana and seen what um, snow plan to their streets did? Oh, really? I'm not saying it, it does yeah. tear. It does tear. They, they took up like a layer of their chicken seal. Oh, right. yeah. Uh, there's operator area there. But, but I mean, yeah. like, the streets aren't that bad. You can get down. Yeah, it's just the middle. It's, people get mad when they can't Park. move over. 
Well, okay. it's, yeah. it was a storm. We, we <laughs> had, right. We've had the snow plows in the past. We have so many dips. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. creates a bigger hazard. And you go down a dip and the dip is that deep and then the snow is on top of it, so now you're stuck. You're in the street. And, you know, so you, there's really nothing you can do. You, the streets that are flat, you can plow. But then you plow back in front of somebody's driveway or plow their car in. We got more complaints every time we plowed than we didn't plow. And like I said, there's so many dips that you can't get through and the truck could get stuck. So then you got to get the back out to get the truck and stuff. More of a pain. Yeah, you just spin your wheels for nothing. And, you know, if we had streets without dips and stuff, it would make sense to go plow, but we don't have that luxury. So, you know, we, we tried years and years and years to do it. We got the county to come in a couple of times, and they said, no, we're not doing so. Too many dips. I agree. Every once they'll do Main Street. Right. And just on my way to get the 24th. Yeah. 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 I think that's where we were. I just was curious if anybody had a thought of that or I'm not saying anything needs to be done. I'm just asking the question. I didn't know how it had been done. I mean, I think I knew how it had been done in the past, but. The amount of snow you got to it's no kind of snowstorms are few and far between. I agree. Yeah. You, know, you wouldn't have kept up with that. You would have had a normal snowstorm with the streets would be open by now. But yeah. Right. It's just, yeah. Right. You can't justify getting equipment just for a snowstorm every 10 or 12 years. And that's my opinion. I don't know. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Information? No, that was going to be my question. That was <laughs> just, I mean, because we're back behind the county you know they they plow from the shop down sugar road and then onto you know down to holbrook right. it's uh, well our road we never get plowed our little road so i just was i just thinking the same thing we don't have the dips y'all do yeah. but i don't want my road tour because it hurts so. <laughs> And yours, yours is one of the harder streets to plow because everybody parks there. So. Oh, it's worse now. <laughs> I, can't even, I tell the guys, don't even go down over the street sweeper. No. <laughs> it's, it's dangerous, you man. Sometimes you yeah. can't even get through with a car. Yeah, it's, it's, don't even go down there. Nope. So, yeah, our road's gotten worse. Amy, information? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Motion to adjourn. Second. 7.34 p.m.